Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have a bit of a breaking news story. Uh, you may remember yesterday the story about the mayoral candidate for the Conservative Party, Dan Korski, had been named by Daisy Goodwin as the man who allegedly groped her, you know, like that, I uh, can't say it too early in the video, in, in uh, number 10. Well, all three of the candidates for the uh, the mayor, you know, the mayoral run of the Conservative candidates, that is, have all been dragged into Tory HQ, presumably to be given a damn stern talking to, and a maybe an admonishing finger wagged. It could be that serious. Uh, there is no um, obviously claim that he is guilty or innocent. No one's making any assumption, but uh, I think that they they definitely want to clamp down on this before either of the other two start making political use out of it. So we'll take a look at this uh, this quick uh, this quick piece. It's just literally appeared a few moments ago uh, as I was rounding off the previous video. I thought straight away, bang, get on that. Uh, so we'll do there. So yeah, we could be the first people out with this story. Anyway, here goes. So Tory HQ hauls in all three London candidates for emergency meeting. Um, Tory HQ called in the three London candidates for a short notice meeting this morning uh, amid swirling concerns about Dan Korski's candidacy. You can guarantee this will be an interview without coffee. They'll be having them in, and you probably get something like the Chief Whip, you know, berating them and telling them, you know, don't do anything to uh, highlight this situation. We need this to kind of go away. Uh, the Express understands all three candidates vying to be the Tory Mayor of London were called into Conservative Party HQ this morning for a meeting. Uh, a source said the meeting was arranged at the last minute heavily implying it was to discuss the current situation with the candidate Dan Korski. Uh, the Express understands this morning emergency meeting with the candidate Party HQ was primarily to warn them against blue on blue attacks. That's what I thought it would be. Uh, though it wasn't made clear why that message had been deemed necessary to put to the three today specifically. Um, it's quite simple because like a little text message or something, don't do it. And you kind of go, oh yeah, well, whatever, it's not there. When you have a scary man leaning across a, de a desk, imposing himself upon you and giving you firm and unequivocal uh, instructions, you tend to remember and you tend to be too scared to do it. You know, and so it is what it is. And I think that's what it is. They've, they've, they've had them in, they've said, look, this is what's happening uh, and you make sure you don't. Uh, anyway, the candidates were asked to leave by the back door of, G of CCHQ when the meeting was over. Uh, yeah, we don't want anyone seeing that we've had you in. Go out slowly, boom, 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 you know, discreetly. Uh, Mr Korski remains under siege from an allegation of groping a TV producer in Downing Street when he worked for David Cameron, with his accuser uh, talking to the Today programme this morning to defend her claims. Um, if, if he doesn't sue her for slander, libel, no, she said it's slander, she doesn't sue, uh, sue him for slander. No, if he doesn't sue her for slander, get it the right way round. If he doesn't sue her for slander, then you know that he's actually guilty. Um, if he was in any way innocent, he would be straight on to his lawyers. His lawyers would issue an injunction. Nobody would be allowed to talk about it. And the, um, the case would go up and she would be you know, under sub judice at that point. So the very fact that she's able to go on a radio and talk about it means he hasn't sued for slander, which means, well, I'm not saying what it means, but it does seem very suspicious, does it not? Anyway, Daisy Goodwin refuted Mr Korski's defence, delivered to this website in an interview yesterday, that he categorically denies the allegation. Well, then he would, wouldn't he? And I, of course, everyone would. Uh, she said people will have to decide who they believe, but there's no reason she would come forward to make the allegation other than because it happened to her. These are her words. Uh, I was shocked by it. I can't say I'm a victim. Miss Goodwin claimed that since writing her op-ed piece on Monday evening, she has been contacted by other women with some very interesting stories, which obviously she said she can't talk about for legal reasons, but I feel entirely justified in having re written a piece and naming him. Mr Korski and his team are adamant that he is continuing with his candidacy. Well, there you go. You can continue all you like with your candidacy, 
but ultimately it will be the good people of London who decide uh, whether you go forward to be elected or not. Um, and it doesn't look like you are, um, I suspect, because I mean, li li this is not written in this piece, but there was another piece earlier today where there are several uh, prominent, some of them prominent backers of Mr. Korski that have since, uh, some have pulled out and some have, they've used the term, paused their support, uh, awaiting further development. So he's losing support from people he thought he could trust or rely on. So it isn't looking good for him. Not about the case. I want about um, simply the candidacy. If you start losing those uh, those backers, and those backers go to one of your opponents, then uh, you know what do you do? Uh, anyway, a source close to the contact has now told the Express that senior figures within the party are beginning to consider contingency plans. Should Mr. Korski be forced to drop out the race? Now that means, should he feel obliged to drop out, or should he have pressure brought to bear on him to drop out, or should he, in any way, shape, or form, realise that it's unwinnable? That kind of thing. Uh, there are a number of options of <coughs> excuse me available options, which include only giving members two candidates to vote on, namely Susan Hall and Mazamul Mahassain, known as Moz. Uh, or, secondly, allow a third candidate to replace Mr Korski, likely Paul Scully, who came fourth in the selection process, or start the whole selection process all over again. But the latter choice will be seen as extremely unpalatable amongst those in the party. No, because it costs, basically. They don't want to go all that. Just basically kick him out, end the problem. He can go off and lick his wounds. Uh, and whoever was fourth, uh, uh, who was at Paul Scully was fourth, he just gets promoted up, he becomes the third candidate, move on. Uh, and then pick uh, Moz Hussain, because he's going to be the one, isn't he? Anyway, the uh, the Express understands this morning's emergency meeting with the candidates of Party HQ was primarily to warn them against blue and blue attacks, although it wasn't made clear why that was done to the three today, specifically, unless there is some kind of Hustings event coming up. Uh, this morning's web the website revealed Dan Korski's adamant denial that he and his team were responsible for leaking the video of Tory aides partying in CCHQ during lockdown as part of a festive jingle and mingle drinks for the former mayoral candidate Sean Bailey. Three people filmed in the video now work for his rival candidate Moss Hussain. Seems very suspicious. The Conservative Party declined to comment because of course they did. But if those three working now for Moz are saying were there and doing that during the lockdown they've got to get a 90 day ban that is what the uh, the parliament has decided is the appropriate ban for breaking the rules and I shall come up but you can't trust them they're all bastards are they they are and I mean what do you do there he is there he is look you see getting his hands out towards whoever he's talking to what's this with the hands anyway coming up it only takes one more woman to come forward, and I think that'll be it. It'll be done. He'll be he'll be having a word. Somebody will come up behind and say, "Can we have a word, please, Dan?" Uh, and that'll be him. And ten minutes later, we go, "Well, I think don't want it." And it'll be the usually. I don't want to draw attention to myself at this time. It's a difficult time. Blah 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 blah. blah. And he pull out, and that'll be it. And that'll be the last anyone ever hears of him. You know, that's it. It's going to be interesting next couple of days. See if anyone else comes forward. I bet they do. But you don't know. Anyway, I shall round off there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see in here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. That was a very odd one because that was literally breaking news right at the end. I didn't have time to prepare that one. But anyway, hope it was okay. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and don't vote for people who are a bit gropey. And goodbye.